Greetings, fellow makers, and welcome to the Punished Props live stream live from the shop. And today we are joined by a special guest. You may remember her from the award winning <laughs> prop wall hanging video. It's April Ness. You mean the, the, the gun rack? The gun video. rack, yes. April uh, does her own live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Viking underscore last. There you go. And uh, we're going to make a shield, a Viking yeah. shield. I need something to defend against raiders. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. So clearly, we're going to make it out of foam. D duh. We have everything we need right here. And we're ready to get started. Are you ready? Oh. Oh, I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. Boom. Yeah. So we've got our design kind of roughed out right here. Uh, we used this handy giant compass to make our circles made just now and now April we need to see where your arm's gonna go so okay. if you lay down your arm that's roughly where it is so your the handle part will go right there okay so and then this part will go over your forearm right there okay. um, so shift your whole arm that way a little bit I think yeah kind of centered there you go so let that set that down that was roughly there and then this is roughly there. So move your arm out of the way there you go so that's kind of where those are gonna go mm -hmm. but they're gonna be bunched up like yeah. this so here, slide your hand in there. Yeah, that's plenty of room. So we'll just roughly mark out that there's going to be a circle there, or a hole there, and a hole there. And what we'll do is we'll punch holes in the foam to put some Chicago screws through to attach these. Okay. And then for this, we need your forearm needs to fit under there. So, like that. Yeah. All right, so move your arm out of the way. Oh. And we need one right there, and one right there. And I'm just going to write down, like, uh, I guess it's obvious. This yeah. is wider than that one. Okay, cool. So now we'll get to cutting some foam, I think. Or drawing the, uh, the, your design. April's cutting out some of our design, and while I'm waiting for that, I've got this dome to contend with. So I've got a bowl. This is a little metal bowl I got from Ikea. And it's just the right size. And then I have a piece of EVA foam here. I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to mash it in there and make a foam dome. You ready? Foam dome. Foam dome. Yeah, guys, give me the Ted uh, follow if you follow. Oh, me. yeah. <laughs> Ted says, make your foam smaller. Yeah, Bill. Oh, you know what? I already, I, it's, it's, I kind of see the outline right here. I can uh, trim the line a bit. Oh, there we go. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey Ted. Hey. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> that worked way better. Let's just heat it up Jeez. a little bit in there. If that's not uh, good enough proof for you to go follow <laughs> Ted, I don't know what is. <laughs> so our dome is our dome is cooling down. Mm -hmm. April drew a design. This is gonna go other way. Like like that. It's gonna uh, the long the swirl is gonna go up. Like this. So. Like that. Okay. On both like sides. That. I got you. So yeah. like that, and then like that. Yeah, cool. exactly. Cool. And this is going to be my template for my new uh, avatar for yes. Twitch and everything else. So Should be really neat. This is really exciting for me. So once we have the base of the um, the shield made, we'll cut this out of a thin piece of foam and glue it down. Cool. Yes. Thumbs up. Yay. So we've got our design here. I'm just going to trace the circle real quick onto our floor mat foam. We're going to have two pieces of this floor mat foam, one for the front of the shield, one for the back of the shield. And then we'll just cut it out. And we can then add our design to it and glue it together. Hooray! Very, very exciting stuff. And then just using a really sharp knife, I cut it out. I'm not really concerned with the edge on this because I'm going to sand it later, but I do want to make sure it looks pretty good. He's running into battle, he's just really kind of like disappointed in himself. <laughs> or uh, like they're running into battle and they're next to each other and the one viking looks at the other show. he goes, oh, hey Sven, your shield is not perfect. And apparently he's German now. <laughs> and now we have two circular uh, floor mats. It's this side, pie. This side has the texture on it. This side does not, so we'll, we'll put them together like this. Mm. <laughs> Just keep doing a thumbs up. Everything's gonna be okay. We've got these lines here. These are different panels of wood, or they're gonna look like different panels of wood. To cut those, I've got a really sharp knife and a straight edge, and I'm just gonna cut a V-shaped groove 
just like so. Not all the way through. It's important that it doesn't go all the way through. And one side, and I'll flip around and do the other side. And then I should be able to pull it, oops, pull the piece out and have a nice sort of gap there. Like that. Peel this out. Ta-da! So we'll, uh, we'll add some wood grain to these, but for now, that's just, that's got a nice uh, little lip there. I kind of did it! Yay! Yay! What are you working on, April? I am working on my own Viking shield here. But well, what are you specifically doing? <laughs> I am uh, I am adding uh, wood grain designs into the foam, uh, which we will be using a wood burner to enunciate them. Yes, uh, I'll show that real quick how we're gonna pull that off. This is the wood burner. I'm gonna do a quick demo and then I'm gonna put my respirator on because it's it's toxic. But this, you just it just melts the foam. Oh cool. Like so. Just oh leaving a nice God. indent. Yeah. There is a nice smoky tendril coming out there, mm. which is probably very toxic. So again, wood uh, respirator is going on in just a moment once I'm done talking. But you can see how that's adding some really cool texture there. And uh, chat made a good point saying add some knots. So that's what oh, those yeah. things are. No, I knew. I knew those were knots. Good. That means I drew them right. <laughs> wasn't sure. There we go. So that's just adding a little bit of texture. We'll go over the whole, the whole freaking thing and it'll look super pretty. So I just spent a little time over at the belt sander roughing up the back of this. So the texture is mostly roughed up, but I specifically made sure to remove as much of the texture from the edge as I could so that when we glue these together, it'll be nice and laminated and there won't be any gaps on the edge that we should be able to see. So that's, I was just over there doing that. I didn't film that because it's way over there in this lab, but that's what I did. And meanwhile, April's wood burning. Yay! So we're gonna keep at it and then we'll glue these together. These are going to be the holes for the um, the grips, the, the straps, and to punch them, I took a little brass tube and I sharpened the edge of it, and I put it in the, this. It's slowly dying, but it'll work. Um, and I just hold it there and just go punch it through, and I made a little hole. So I'll just do that all the way around. And it's, there's a little bit of a little foam poop. <laughs> Hold on. A foam dingleberry? And the reason for that, I've got these little Chicago screws. <laughs> and we're gonna, those will go through the back of it, like so. And I'll put these simply. I'll put the Chicago screws through the back before I glue the two halves together, and then I have that screw right there where I can use the other side of the screw to bolt my straps down. Sound good? Sounds beautiful. Okay. That's Yay! What we're gonna do. I got some barge cement. I got a, a jar of it right here. A jar of honey. It looks like honey. It doesn't taste or smell like honey. Good so, we have our respirators on. Mm, safety. We're good? Yeah. All right. We're going to brush a bunch of barge all over the surface of these, let it dry, and then sandwich them together. There you go. Actually, let's just do this. Okay. Why well, mess around, right? Yeah. There you go. Should I avoid the holes? Um, nah, don't worry about it. Definitely make sure you get it on the edge, though. Okay. Get it all the way to the edge. Throw that away. Ah. Boom! <laughs> Quick note: Chicago screw going into hole like that. There we go. Great. We'll do the rest of them. Put the respirator back on. Our barge has dried enough now that we can stick them together. And I drew a line on the middle so we know that we we're lining them up. So, where's the other middle here? There it is. So we can just stick that down and make ourselves a shield sandwich. That should line up pretty good. Which should only be about 450 calories out of a 
2,000 calorie diet. There we go. What? Look at this. It is a shield. Yeah. And the edges line up pretty well. We'll trim them later. And okay. they'll look really good. We'll put the, the, the trim on the side first. Okay. Uh, and then we'll just trim up the whole edge. And we'll just go through and make sure we really, really squish that down so the edges look nice. Really, really nice. Uh, and also you can see those are our Chicago screws peeking through, so we can attach well, our strap later. A little bit of forethought right there that I'm happy I remembered to do. We are drawing, I got the boob cup here, I'll, not boob cup, <laughs> this is the, the, it's really more the of a boss. nipple. The boss. Whoa, we that is a big boob if that's the right. nipple. So April's cutting out that design, I'm just tracing the other one, we have two of them and they're mirrored. So I'm just going to trace it onto a piece of this two millimeter craft foam and then cut it out just like April's doing right over there. And then once we get the wood grain done on our, uh, on our shield, we can glue these down. Mm -hmm. Yay! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've cut out these strips of quarter inch foam. I glued a couple of them together to get a nice long strip. And this is going to make the seam along the edge of our shield here. And uh, we put barge on the back and barge on the shield. And then we just lay it down. And one of the things I love about foam is that I can just curl it around and make it a straight piece of foam into a curling piece of foam. Sure. Nice sharp knife. Just cut it right from here to there. Like that. Wow. You got that like freaking exact. Oh yeah. And then uh tack that down with the uh contact cement. And then there is a seam there, and I'll just run some super glue in that. And it'll Sort of weld the seam together. Wow. And get super glue on everything. Yay. There we go. We can even sand that down if it's a little bit. Uh, there. Ta da! Cool. We also put the uh, some barge down in the center there, and we got our little boss. Boob hat. Boob hat. <laughs> and uh, that also gets tacked down as well. We put barge on both sides. And just mash it down, just like that. Um, so when uh, DLC makes a good point, you could just put a small trim around the centerpiece, the boss. To oh, down here, yeah. That could totally be a cool idea, yeah. if it's not too difficult no, for that. you, Bill. I feel like it's not. April's going to apply the second swirl. Again, we just put down some barge on there. Oh, it's so exciting. And then you can just hack it down. So we put barge on both pieces, and now we're laying it down. There you go. I hope you like where it is. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I was like, oh, I wish there was more of a game. Oh, too bad. <laughs> There's the shield. I'm going to go, um, actually, let's do the straps real quick. Now, earlier we put Chicago screws in there. And um, just for demonstration here, we'll probably take these off. Okay. <laughs> but the, there are, the other side of the screw can go through this and into the... Uh, screw like that. And down the other side. And go like that. There we go. So there's your, your handle. So cool. Put your, your hand in the thing. Yeah. yeah. The other one will go right there, but I'm gonna take those off now. Okay. And I'm gonna go and trim the edges here so it's nice and smooth. Trim and sand it. So um, that'll be over there, and I won't be on camera. I took this over to the bandsaw, trimmed the edge, and then went over to the belt sander and smoothed it over. I also beveled the edge a tiny bit. So now all of these layers are nice and sandwiched together. Oh. And now we'll paint it. Oh my god, it looks so cool. So, first layer of paint, brown. Actually, I might need to make some more. But we're just laying down paint, brown paint, all willy nilly. Willy nilly. Yeah. 
This will be our first layer, we'll add more paint on top of it. Actually, let me just show the other side real quick. That's what we're going for on that side there. One quick layer, we'll do the rest over here. So April's adding some silver along the edges and on the boss here, and then I've got this nice green color I mixed up. And this is going on the swirls. So we're just double teaming the, uh, the paint here. We'll get this done real quick. Ooh -ha. Once we get the color all laid down, then we can let it dry. Do a little bit of weathering on it. We may have to do a couple of layers on this paint though, because the silver is taken. The silver's a little thin. So that is, whoop, this way, there we go. There's the shield. This is what we have done so far. Turn it like this. It goes like that. <laughs> That's the proper way to smash faces. Yeah, uh, it's still, the paint's still wet. We're gonna let this dry and then um, we'll come back and finish painting it. Um, we won't have, we won't be streaming that. Whoa! We won't be streaming that, but we'll, I'll put a picture, it'll, or a, a, a video of it finished in this area here. Yay! I'll edit that in once that's all done. But there you go. There is the Viking shield for the Viking last. Yeah! I can uh, just defend our, our stream from raids. Yeah, so you will be defending your stream at twitch.tv slash viking underscore last yes, I will. with your shield. Everyone head on over there and give her a follow. Of course, you should follow ours at twitch.tv slash punished props if you want to check these streams out live every Tuesday at noon Pacific. Mm, and you should give a follow if you haven't already. Yeah, I know. What are you waiting for? Or if you're even more cool, do a subscribe and you get Ender emotes. Yes. I, ah, <laughs> I just like seeing Enders in my chat. Worth every penny. <laughs> um, thanks for hanging out today, you guys, and we'll see you on the next stream. Bye. Oh my god, it's so cute. Definitely, look at my hands are just covered. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm brown. Uh.